A little bit of VR over here, indie development over here, maybe some, some motion control stuff. They're gargantuan pile of five, six fucking titles. Bad news, bad. What's poppin' fam? It's your favorite anti-culture vulture. Your boy Jay Sama's in the building today, and uh, I know you guys are not gonna be happy about this. Well, some of you guys might, but uh, today is not a video of culture. Well, I mean, I guess it is gaming culture, but we're doing a gaming video today. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I could understand that this has already not been clickable for a lot of people recently but um you know i'm just giving my opinions today you know talking a little bit about uh e3 uh since from now until next week it's just gonna be a lot more gaming stuff and to be honest with you guys i'm i'm hype i guess i mean i can only be like a certain level of excited because i'm not physically going to e3 but whatever it's not like i wanted to go or anything <laughs> so anyway today we are specifically talking about sony's press conference that is coming up i'm i'm very interested i would have to say because really uh sony has broken it down at this point is they're just going to be handling key stuff like very very tiny key key things and then they're like four or five big major projects so we're gonna see like a little bit of vr over here a little bit of indie development over here maybe some some motion control stuff Ooh, maybe some mobile stuff you know and then move out of the way and then like their gargantuan pile of five six fucking titles that are just gonna blow everything out the water that is genuinely what i think is going to happen it's gonna be like you know the same almost the same way that they did last year except the way E3 for Sony has been is just mm, not necessarily funky, but it's different. It's very different, very interesting, very safe, very, very, very safe. So, and I would have to say in regards to actually winning a console war, because I remember back in the day, like PS2 era days, PS3 era days, like even PlayStation, like, man, just they were just savages they were just completely different like i remember when halo and and uh and god of war dropped the same year and that was like a huge combat thing and they it really felt like microsoft and sony were trying to compete for everybody's dollar now it just feels like there's just so many cross-platform games that it's just like now nah, we we have a couple of first party nobody really cares though we'll just float the boat off of everything else in console sales so I don't think that this year is going to be that. I think this year is going to be different because they're hammering home more first party stuff. So we'll have like Death Stranding, The Last of Us, Days Gone, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I think it's called. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, and then, of course we can't forget Spider-Man. Like, I think everybody's really looking forward to Spider-Man, but you know, I, between all of these games and them showing, like, I really need to see more of Death Stranding because I need to see some actual gameplay because I don't know what the fuck is going on in that game. And based off of the last trailer, which if you guys haven't seen, you definitely got to go check that out. Uh, it's just like some crazy stuff going on. And then Spider-Man's building, building up all this hype because Marvel's getting really huge. I mean, it's already really huge, but Marvel's getting even bigger and it's just day after day is just the hype for spider-man just continues to go up now i don't know about everybody else but i'm interested in days gone just because it seems like it's such a different type of game and at first i thought it was being developed by naughty dog and it's actually being developed by like brand or something it's it's a direct sony sony owns the, the company so I, whatever it starts with a b i can't remember what the fuck the name is and honestly i don't feel like looking it up for the sake of this video and just for the sake of time so and then of course the last of us i just cannot wait because i have so many questions besides when does the game come out can i play this on a regular ps4 compared to ps4 pro is there really going to be much of a difference and what the fuck is going on with joel because i'm just seeing all of these theories and all of these things online and they only showed a little bit so far and i just really 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 need to see more of this game like really bad so it's it's almost like it's a physical fix that i have to have so you know i'm, I'm really thinking that they're coming with the heat this year 
Um, we would talk about the rest of the shows, you know, like Microsoft and Nintendo or whatever, but we'll get to that later this week. Um, we kind of don't necessarily have time for that today. I just wanted to sit and focus on this one specific, you know, thing. And really, there are so many other games that I would be expecting to come out. Like, there's just so many other just new ips that could be developed i mean you know we could potentially be getting like i don't know if capcom's coming to the table with the devil may cry 5 but i don't know whose show that's going to be presented at is it going to be sony's is it going to be microsoft shit at this point it could be nintendo just to be honest with you like the way nintendo is going they're just really kind of cranking stuff out but i think sony coming with nothing but heat and first party shit is probably going to be the hypest thing for me and just to be real with you guys, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a PlayStation fanboy. I can't really help it. And it's just it's just one of those things. I grew up with it. You know, there's nothing wrong with owning anything else. But, I mean, I'm a PC guy now, so everything is obsolete. But uh, another thing I kind of want to talk about is I remember seeing online that there's not going to be anything about a PlayStation 5 this year. Just because it's already been kind of confirmed that there's not going to be... That console's not coming to this E3. So we might see it at Gamescom later this year, but I don't know about E3 just because it doesn't... I mean, we are within the time span and the space that these uh, consoles are kind of running out of time, you know, six, seven, eight years of lifespan, you know, and it's just like, oh man, we're getting up there. It's happening. So we might as well figure out a way out of back out of this. Maybe not the Switch because that's like that just seems like what the wii u was trying to be and like they just kind of like stomped on that and they were like the wii u never exists kicking under the rug you know so i'm trying to see the idea of bringing a playstation 5 just in general but i i, I don't think we're in the day and age where we need that type of upgrade so it's almost like uh games have progressed so far to where you could keep the same console for a while we're definitely going to see some price cuts we're going to see a probably a new version of the playstation slim uh the playstation 4 slim or something like that because really when you think about the different additions over consoles lifespan you had the ps2 with that it was like a fucking brick <laughs> right and then then they it got even smaller and it had the flip tray and then you had the the huge bulky doorstop playstation 3s and then those got smaller and then the slims got smaller with a sliding tray on top so i think sliding trays is the way to go like that's how you know your your console is just like all right this is the second this is the new edition right here sliding trays that's it so i uh i really want to see just like upgrades being made available like maybe they'll i i would like to assume that everybody is within the right mind once you buy a playstation 4 um that you would possibly be able to upgrade it so i don't know if they're going to be doing like hardware stuff and which actually brings me into a bigger question now that i think about it how come with new editions of consoles that keep coming out how come i can still not play my old digital games like they're digital right it has nothing to do with hardcore i mean uh hardware it's not like it's spinning a disc or anything or reading a disc really it's all just digital information so i should be able to play my ps2 classics my my ps3 games you know at least the ones that i bought digital on my playstation 4 so i i just i'm a little concerned as far as like why that's not a thing but that doesn't have anything to do with hardware i just really one day would like that to be answered please that would be really great but i think um just physical hardware can be upgraded in different ways this time around like maybe sell parts individually or have have people come in and like you know just like select stores all over the country or all over the world and trade in your previous ps4 and get like a discount off and like pay a hundred dollar difference to get a new version of the ps4 like the ps4 4.5 but i don't i don't think the five is, is i don't think we really need to go there yet like maybe in the in like three years from now maybe like when graphics are really 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 pushing like last gen P pc level you know what i mean so that's kind of what i'm looking forward to but let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below i really want to know like what are you interested in seeing or if you even have a wish list like if you wanted to see a game come out what game would it be um i personally have my list of things i would like to see i would love to see a zone of the enders collection that would be dope i would love to see a yakuza collection uh that would be fucking amazing actually maybe a new infamous like there are just certain games that i would love to see 
brought to the table. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. This has been your boy Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon.